no communication tarot card reading there's been no contact between both of you what's going on maybe it's a lover maybe it's an old friend family member that you've lost contact with but there's no communication i want to mainly know about the connection so i'm going to do a connection spread so this does fit for like relationships friendships family members um if you claim the reading let me know put a like on the video I'll see that someone's liked it. You'll know that you've liked, you've claimed it. Um, I saw that I do this for the right person to get the right reading at the right time. But I want to have a look at your no communication situation. What's going on? I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements. Four seasons, most importantly, four angels offering as a circle of protection. Automatically been drawn towards this one. So down this side is you... And the far side is the other person. Mm. Down the middle is the connecting energy. There's still a, lo a loyalty between you both. And uh, it can be resolved at some point. Uh, I've got an inkling this is maybe family. Maybe a lover that you consider family. Maybe, but I think it may be family. I don't know. You'll know. You'll know. You know your situation. So, we're starting off for you with a King of Pentacles reversed, which can feel really harsh. And this is a recent past. This is the recent past between you both. The King of Pentacles reversed can feel really selfish. When they freeze us out, it's really painful. We can really question their judgment in life. Sometimes there can be financial debt connected to it. Sometimes it's just them being like, putting themselves above everything um it could be you it could be the other person it could just be the situation it feels painful it feels like you were left questioning everything because of this no communication um they had the strength card reversed for them at that point in the recent past as well which is a discord um, poor self-control, fear of the unknown, ignoring their instincts, a misdirected energy. They may have undone hard work that they'd done. They may have been doing a lot of work on themselves, willpower, recovery and things. They kind of undone it all. And it's left you looking at them like, that's just really selfish that you've done that. If it's to do with substances, if it's to do with gambling, if it's to do with anything like that, that's hard. That's an addiction. Addictions are difficult. It's a chemist chemical thing, you know. People go through recovery and then relapse and recovery and relapse. And it kind of feels like that. And it feels like they really let you down. And it feels like there's a financial burden attached to it. I don't know if it's for you or for them or everyone around. Um, they stopped working hard on what they were doing they were doing really well they were doing really well and you, sometimes we need to give people credit for how well they were doing before they slipped up because that means they can do that again they they can get back on track again um the eight of pentacles reversed is a lack of energy a lack of work it's like it's almost like they're like no I'm going off on my own i'll do this by myself there was there was nothing really that anyone could do. There was nothing really that you could have done to stop this from happening. People make choices in life. And, uh, yeah, those choices negatively impact us, but we're not responsible for other people's choices. There's nothing that you could have done to prevent this from happening. I just want you to know that. It's on their shoulders. So at the moment, you have the seven of pentacles reversed. Is You've kind of given up on it. You're just like, oh, I can't put the amount of stress and worry into it as I was, all the energy that you had put into it. You, you just feel that you don't really know what to do. You know, it's like, what do I walk away from? What, what do I carry on doing? What do I not do? It's, it feels exhausting. This feels exhausting. But there's a natural loyalty between you both. With the page of wands there's and this is the universe card this is the universe placement there's the bond that's there is a natural loyalty the page of wands is all about the loyalty that we have for our teenage self or you know that young fresh energy when we see people to their core 
and we know that right deep inside them they're a very good person and I do think that that's how you feel about this person you know that underneath all of this things on the out on the outside but inside they're lovely it's just all the everything that's kind of got in the way you know um they've got the knight of wands reversed which kind of like whatever's going on for them right at this very moment in time it's not going to get any worse but it's not going to get any better but it's not going to get any worse it feels like that it feels like stagnation it feels like no movement anyway just not worse but not better um the night of wands is all about movement house moves travel travel within our life journey travel with everything like that when it's reversed it's kind of being stuck in a rut it can be their frustration start is starting to build maybe why you've been drawn to this reading that they're getting to the point of recognizing every day is the same they're doing the same thing and, and they don't want to do it but they don't know what to do it doesn't mean that you should step in take over they have to do it for themselves no one you know when we go through something we have to do what we can to get out we can reach out for help but no one can do the work for us they can guide us they can hold our hands they can signpost us but we have to do the work and it has to come from us if there's something in our life that we're not ready to fix we're not ready to look at someone can bang on our front door and tell us that that's what we have to do and we're not going to do it because we haven't recognized it and it kind of feels like this person's now getting to the point where they're ready to recognize it again and as their frustrations build they'll start making movement again um but it's not getting any worse at the moment it's not getting any better but there's natural loyalty towards you for the both of you and it just feels like you're ready to give up and what i would say to that is there's nothing that you can do there's nothing that you can do all the seeds that were planted before this if this comes back around, new seeds are going to have to be planted. All the seeds that were planted before, let them go. Let them go. You know, keep hold of the good memories, keep hold of that. But don't expect those to grow. Because it'll have to be a fresh new soil, fresh new seeds, new water, new feed, new care, new attention, you know. So it's okay to abandon that. It's okay to do that. Don't have any guilt about that. Because there's not much that you can do. So you can put all of your stress and worry into this. And you can stay up all night worrying about it. But it's not going to do you any good. It's not going to do this person any good. It's a waste of energy. You could spend that energy on, on trying to get a good night's sleep. On trying to do what's good for you. And just saying the seeds that have been planted for this. Yeah, I don't need to keep watering them because if this comes back around, we'll plant some new seeds and the new seeds will be good, you know. What will grow will grow. <clears throat> so you're moving on to the full reversed, which for me is nice to see. It's almost like you recognising that you can't do much. So it's like letting go of it a bit and saying, OK, I'm going to trust that this person's going to sort out what they need to sort out. And if they want to come back to me in the future, they can. If they want to re reach out to me in the future, I'll be there. And it's like you just taking a moment to stop, think, consider, but letting go. It's like, okay. I don't know if you just have a tendency to take on other people's problems. It's like there's so much care and love and loyalty here. It's almost like their problem's your problem. It's not your life is your life. Um, the negative choices they make have impacted you. But your life is your life, you know. Your choices are your choices. That's what you're responsible for. And um, sometimes we don't have all of the knowledge that we need to have to do what's the best thing for that person. There's other people around that can do that professionals family friends random strangers you know sometimes when um a random person comes along and is a pivotal moment in someone's life i call that like 
angels that are walking among us like sometimes we get you know sometimes we get off the bus and we watch something happen in front of us and we we walk into it and we know what to do and like we're the one that phones the ambulance or we're the one that gets help or and that's like to me that's like divine intervention that's that moment where you're put somewhere to be a pivotal moment for the better if that makes sense so there'll be someone around that will do that and you have to have faith that that responsibility is not on you and I think you're going to get that and I, th I think you're going to be okay I do think you're going to be okay and this, I think this person's going to be okay. So we have the two of pentacles reversed, which is a loss of focus. And it's a loss of focus on the choices that they have. They're not recognising the choices that they have. Or, and, and when people are spiralling, I don't think they're spiralling, no. I think they're going to be in a bit of a rut. I think their frustration is going to increase, which reminds me of the toy car that you pull back. And then it flies off. It's like I have to pull it back, pull it back, pull it back to get the the tension, to get the frustration, so that it has its power to do what it needs to do. And it's almost like in the near future, this person's not going to be aware that they have a choice of reaching out to you, choices in life in general. But they're going to start becoming. It's almost like the idea is going to be planted for them. You have choices. And then one day maybe they'll just wake up and think, oh, I don't want to be like this anymore. Why am I doing this, you know? But at that point, there's a ten of cups between you both, which is about family tensions being resolved. It can be about long, happy unions, a family love. Um, there's a family energy here. I don't know if this person is an ex who's very as good as what family is. Or if it is like a family member or a friend that you've known a lifetime. But it feels like that when they get to the better place in their life, you'll forgive them. You'll find the way of being relieved that they, they got through it, if that makes sense. This is a very specific person. And if it's not making any sense, then it's a very specific person for an important person. It's an important read, and I think... Uh, there's a big reason why there's no communication because this person's not in the mindset to communicate with anyone. They, they're they not even talking to themselves, you know, they're getting up. Every day is the same. They get an increased frustration. The universe is going to plant the idea that they've got choices again and then they have to do something with that. You have to let go of the responsibility. It's not your responsibility. And you have to let go of... Because they were doing really well before this point. And you have to hold on to the fact that they were doing well. So they can do well again. Um, and the future will have to be fresh and new. And you'll have to... If they come back in again, like... Um, treat them as... Okay, the past didn't happen. I'll treat you how you are today. You know, a whole different person or... You know, a whole new chapter and it's like letting go of everything if that makes sense i know what i'm trying to say i don't know if i'm communicating it very well so moving further forward we have the six of emotions which is all about happy memories um again it's kind of making me feel this is someone who is like as good as a member of your family um they have the Ten of Emotions, which is really nice. They're going to overcome it. They're going to overcome it. And then we have the Queen of Inspiration reversed. And that's telling me there's nothing that you can do. There's nothing that you can do other than wait and hope for the best. Sometimes we feel like we're on the outside looking in. And we just have to hope that the person does it. This is them doing it. This is them doing it. The Ten of Cups is very much like this Ten of... The Ten of Emotions is like the Ten of Cups. And it's the... I don't know if it's going to be the universe, the angels, peop, um, professionals around them, or someone around them that reaches in and, and helps in some kind of way. So whatever they're going for, it's a blip. It's a blip. 
they're going to step back into happiness again and the queen of inspiration shows that there's even though there's this energy between you both and this loyalty between you both and a lot of love between you both you can't do it it's not you that's doing it it's the coming from something in in their world that helps but you've got the six of emotions you've got lots of happy memories and you're hoping for the best it's like sitting waiting and hoping for the best um you've then got the six of inspiration reversed and it's knowing all of the rewards are coming but they're being a little bit delayed you know but having the faith that they're coming uh, and then your person has the eight of inspiration reversed a slowing down of energy and like a little bit of time out for them period of recovery uh, they may be somewhere where they can't really reach out and talk to anyone or they may be advised that you know now's not the time really it's almost like talking therapy to the right person offloading all of that to the right person rather than splatter bombing it onto everyone they love and care about um but you're gonna be weighing and then we have the temperance very nice energy again they made they you may get a letter from them and it may be a letter that comes from a therapy session or after a therapy session or kind of like that maybe it may be a written letter or it may be email or whatever whatever way and you would have been waiting for it and it will feel nice and it'll be slow it'll be a slow moving letter and they would have thought about it like and i want you to know that everything you that you read in that comes from their heart and their soul and they put a lot of thought into it they probably rewrote it a million times but before they made sure that you get it they've thought about it a lot they're going to overcome whatever they're going through at the moment. There's nothing that you can do here. All that you can do is look after you, watch and hope for the best, but look after your own well-being and uh, just know everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. This is just a phase. It's just a blip. It's just a thing. Um... And I do hope that if this is your reading, you claim it. You don't even have to do anything. Just know in your heart that this was for you and and that it's between you, the universe and the tarot cards, you know. So I'm going to end the reading here. I'm going to wrap both of you in a massive bubble of protection, individual bubbles, so that you both can, like, they do what they need to do, but you also do what you need to do for you. Um... Your angels can take you on your way. If you've made it to this point, you're now part of my Purple Heart Gang. So welcome. You've made it to the end of the reading. Uh, yeah. Things are going to be okay. And uh, do you know what? If things don't go the right way for them, if they come through this phase and they go through another phase like it, and I'm not saying that they're definitely going to, but people go through cycles. You're not responsible for what anyone else does. And you're not responsible for anybody's bad choices in life. And that doesn't go just go for this person. It goes for everyone. You're not responsible. You're responsible for you and your well-being and your happiness. I'm going to wrap you in another massive bubble of protection. Say so that your angels can take you on your way. And I will see you soon.